you're back after after a year. How did that? How did the move come about to the new team? Uh, I talked a lot with the team, and uh, then we found a solution that it can work out. And uh, yeah, I mean, my friend Gerald was already racing uh, last year in the team, and he was really happy about it. So that that was actually maybe the the main part why I moved to the team. What were you doing in that in that year off? that year in between? Oh, I was riding, hiking, enjoyed my life a little bit. So actually, <coughs> actually I had a good and relaxed summer. Yeah. And how do you feel coming back? Do you feel like it's a, a new start? Like, do you feel re reinvigorated? Yeah, I mean, I still have the experience and I, I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to race again now, especially in Europe. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But so far, I felt quite good. Mm. Why, why, why did things not fall into place for you when, when you left your previous team in terms of finding a new deal? Well, actually, that's a really long story and it was a bit confusing as well. Um, but I think I talked a lot about it and now I just would like to look forward and uh, that's the past and uh, yeah, it doesn't help to think about it too much anymore. What do you think of the MTN as a team? I mean, it's got a very solid identity, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's a bit of pity that uh, we're not racing Giro Italia because I think the team is very well structured and uh, I think they are ready for a Grand Tour. So hopefully we get invitation for the Vuelta because I really uh, think that we can do well there. And uh, it's, uh, we're working uh, really, really professionally. I'm, uh, I'm not positive or surprised, but uh, it's, 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 it's very well structured and uh, I think, I think it's, uh, it's a good team to perform well as well. What's the morale like within the, within the squad at the start of the season? As the morale is quite high, everybody's motivated. I think we had a good training camp so far and uh, everybody's excited to race as well. So I, I think uh, we can do well during the spring already. What about personally for your goals and your aspirations for the year? Yeah, I said that my goal is probably May with the Giro, but no, <laughs> we're not racing the Giro. So I think uh, for me personally, uh, Terreno Adriatico and San Remo are, are nice races and see how it goes. I mean, now I have to peak a little bit earlier, see how that goes. But uh, these are interesting races for me. Before we do a lot of one day races in Italy, like Eroica and that stuff. And uh, I really like that race, mm. uh, like racing Italy, good coffee. And uh, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Sure. And the second half of the season just comes down to invitations for the, for the Vox race. Yeah, I hope we are racing there. I mean, uh, I like that race and uh, I think we are ready for that. I mean, even now I trained uh, good and intense in the climbs here and I think you know, African riders they are really good climbers as well. So I think it would be, would be exciting for international cycling as well to bring an African team to a race like the Vuelta. And uh, I think we are ready for it and I think we, we can be confident. What did, what did you make of the RCS's invitations for the Giro? I mean, it's, I mean, it's controversial. You, you, yeah, it's controversial, but at the end of the day, you need to respect it. These, they are the organizers and they have the right to choose it. I, for me personally, I think it's a pity because I think we could have done well there, but we need to accept it. We have other good invitations from them for San Remo, Terreno. So, yeah, I hope we can prove that uh, that the uh, odds from the sporting level they're missing or yeah. we're missing. Sure. I mean, in San Remo you have the defending champion. Yeah, exactly. So I think uh, our team is ready for that. So uh, I think we are really competitive.